Andrew Lopez, Brody Miller here. Uh, halftime, LSU, Miami. I don't, I don't know if anybody expected this game. No, no. I think if, the, if anything, if LSU would want to be like a low scoring, you know, like I mean, 27-3. There's no scenario you want to solve this. Miami shot itself in the foot. LSU's made huge plays. LSU's running the ball really well. I mean, yeah. every, nothing about this. Is yeah, it's uh, it's been going quite quite well for LSU so far. Uh, Nick Rosetta a 50-yard touchdown. Jacob Phillips won an interception yeah. return for a touchdown. Uh, but really, everybody's really concerned about the, the start of the Joe Burrow era. Yes. And the numbers don't look that great. 8 of 16 True. right now, a couple of drops. How do you think Joe's done so far? I mean, it's good you point out the drops. There are a few throws that are great. And most importantly, the offensive line is not a couple of throwaways. Yeah, a lot of throwaways. Not a lot. But, uh, I mean, the offensive line hasn't looked great. He's had pressure in his face, like, nearly every time he's dropped back. But he's making a lot of quick decisions, making – He's escaping plays when there's someone in his face. He's making quick passes. I mean, he's been a success in most ways you would look at it right now. He's made two crucial checks, including uh, a check on that Nick Proset 50-yard touchdown. Yeah, uh, LSU has started to kind of roll the pocket some, try to make some yes. moving pockets, trying to get him some space. But right now, I mean, this, as good as the offense is, the defense looking just that much better. Miami has not converted a third down conversion yeah. yet. Uh, obviously, you get the tip on the, the – the tip maybe no tip. Maybe it was just an awful yeah. throw. Yeah. Uh, but what do you make of this defense and how they've kind of played them so far? I mean, they're definitely – they're athletic. They're everywhere right now. I guess their tackling could be better if you're looking for something to nitpick right now. Miami's taken a lot of deep shots downfield, and Rozier's actually had time. I mean, yeah. it's not like the pass rush has been that great. They're just not executing these deep balls downfield. The cornerbacks have looked pretty solid, and this is a really good Miami receiver court. Those Miami receivers have made a couple of great yes. catches so far. Jeff Thomas had the one hand, the behind one hand, <laughs> yep. the behind Odell. I didn't know that was a, a, a thing uh, <laughs> that you could do. Um, going forward, what do you kind of expect to see uh, in the second half? I don't know what I expect, but what I'm curious to see is just what kind of style LSU tries. Are they just trying to just work things out and improve? Or are they going to go pretty conservative in the second half? I Clearly, know. they went conservative with <laughs> they, kneel, yeah. kneeling it with 90 seconds on yeah. the clock and, and no, maybe no timeouts, but still. Yeah, I mean, what do you what do you? Expect? I think I, I want to see what Innsminger does. I want to see. Obviously, they played it conservative there, late in the second half, late in the first half. I, I want to see if they try to open it up. Do they want to make a statement? Do they yeah. want to try to get this to Peach Bowl levels where it was forty to three uh, over this Miami team? That's kind of the biggest question I have. I, you don't really have any many questions about the uh, about the defense. They, no. They're playing the way you thought they would play. I think that's the only thing left is how Innsminger handles this. Yeah, because I guess you could play it either way. You could say, okay, you don't want to show much more than you have to in this game and get away with it without having to show much. Right. But also, there is still lots of iron out in this offense. They have caught some breaks, things like that. So there's probably some they want to get more game reps, and I could really see it going either way. Yeah. Uh, injury notes we have, we've already missed. Uh, Adrian McGee was looked like he was rolled up. He was wheeled out on a cart, uh, taken back. That injury didn't look good, but Artreor has stepped in for him. Uh, Todd Harris uh, went out early. Haven't seen him back on the field, and then John Battle looks like he's dealing with a shoulder, just something he's dealt with before. That's Brody. I'm Andrew. We'll see you after the game.